What's good, YouTube? You know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me fix my mic real quick. We back again with another banger video. Now today, today's a serious video. Serious, serious video. You know what I'm saying? Today is a uh, pretty. I'm passionate about this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm really passionate about this video. And I'm ready to make this video. But today we're going to be talking about working out. Yep, working out. Because I know you, you, everybody should want the best for themselves, right? Right. Everybody should want the best for themselves. And I understand a lot of reasons why people might not work out. But today, I'm going to tell you why to forget all these problems and put yourself first, put your future first, put your health first. Forget all the problems. Those are problems we can let go, overcome. So today, and I'm going to show y'all. I'm gonna show you all some workouts too and we're gonna talk about them and just some workouts to do to help but first things first I'm gonna try to keep this short I'm gonna tell you my story on working out how working out have helped me as a person life lessons working out have taught me and yeah so, I started working out about, I want to say, uh, four years ago. Yeah, around four years ago is when I started working out seriously. And, bro, it's been a journey. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see the guns? Just a little something. I still got a long way to go. But, working out has helped me so much, not even just physically, I know I look good, but not even just physically, but mentally too, you know what I'm saying? First off, working out makes you more fucking confident, and confidence is a big thing, your self-esteem boost, a self-esteem boost, um, mental boost, your mind. You you more confident your your mind is gonna be your mental health is gonna be better if you're more confident because you go into everything more confidently and that's a big part in your mental health and how you go into things and like I said it boosts your self esteem um and it, it it teaches you a lot of lessons like the main lesson working on taught me is that things take time and that can relate to life too you're not just gonna go into something and get results instantly it takes time and you start seeing results the more and the more you do it over time All right and that's just like working out you're not about to go in the gym <laughs> first week and look like this no it's gonna take time you gotta have patience and discipline to keep going. And another thing, working out just taught me. Working out taught me. I just mentioned it, but discipline. Discipline, this, and that's key. That's really important in life to have discipline, because motivation is only gonna take you so far, bro. It's only gonna take you so far, cause there's gonna be one day you wanna go to the gym. You motivated to go to the gym you're gonna get up and go to the gym but there's gonna go be days you're gonna need to go to the gym and you're not gonna be motivated to go to the gym you're not gonna want to get up but that's where discipline steps in even if you don't want to get up you gotta get up you gotta be disciplined to still go forget everything you know still go so yeah, motivation can only take you so far. It's discipline that will take you where you need to be. But 
motivation is key. I'm not saying it's you, you, you don't need motivation, obviously, but I'm saying discipline is what's going to take you where you need to be. And another thing the gym taught me is loving myself, wanting the best, absolute best for myself. I want to be the smartest. I want to learn every part of me. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually, everything. And I'm I'm working on all of that right now. Like, I believe I am one of the smartest. Smartest 19 year olds. Even if I'm about to turn 20 in a month. Wish me happy birthday. July 12th. Yes, sir. I need my present from every one of y'all. A subscribe. Yeah, that's my birthday present. But yeah. July 12th, I'll be 20. But, yes, bro, everything I do, I just want to grow, grow, grow. I want to be the smartest, the smartest person alive because, one, I want to be so smart just to know because I know a lot of, a lot of people, a lot of us just lack knowledge and what I want to do is get smart, learn from my life experiences, learn from wisdom from other people, learn from reading, learn from podcasts, watching YouTube, all of that, and teach what I learned to people around me, my community. Like, we are lacking knowledge so bad, especially about our own self. That's another reason most of us are depressed and all of that. But, hopefully today I can inspire some of you, one of you, just one person, to work out or work on themselves. You know, just become a better version of yourself. It's, it's, and it's, it's only going to help you is the thing. You're not doing it, it's not helping you. You might be fine now, but it's gonna catch up to you. You don't even have to be working out, just do something physical, do a physical activity. If you play sports, go play sports for an hour. Go, go do what you love for an hour. Go do the sport you love for an hour. Do some jumping jacks, you know, do some push-ups. Just stay, stay, keep your body healthy, keep your body right. The younger you start, the better it is for you, bro. People often wait till they get fat. Straight up, I'm. I don't sugarcoat. Another thing with me too, I'm a, I'm a truthful. Yeah, I don't sugarcoat. I go straight to the point, daggers. But. And the thing is, people wait till they get fat to start working out. And that's where a lot of people fucked up. Because when you get, when you let yourself get fat like that, it's going to be harder. Your mental state is going to be t tougher to come back from that. You know, because you, you're probably looking at yourself with all your insecurities you got we all got them too so don't we all got them but these insecurity insecurities is gonna beat you up more and you're gonna go to the gym for a day and not see results then you're gonna stop then you're just gonna accept it and then it's just gonna go downhill from there you got a whole bunch of problems coming for you, and I'm sorry to tell you. But another thing is, the world will comfort you for that. They'll be like, it's okay to be obese. No, it's not. It's not. You know that, and I know that. So if you want to get mad at me for saying that, you can't please everybody. The truth hurts a lot. And I understand that America don't like truth, not at all, but that is the truth. 
But enough talking, let's get into these workouts. So this is a leg day. So first workout um, you would want to do on a leg day typically is squats. That's the first workout. About five sets of ten. And the benefits of squats is your lower body and your core. It helps your core also. So squat is a good workout to start with and do. Another good leg day workout is lunges. Lunges helps a, a lot. Strengthens your lower body. It's a good lower body workout. But I would like to say you take your time on those. Don't put too much weight. Um, do like four sets of six, I want to say, to start off. Go not light, but something you can do and comfortable until you learn how to do it properly. But yeah, lunges. It's a good workout for leg day. But another thing I want to touch on before I go into any other thing. I understand that a lot of people don't work out or go to the gym because they feel like a lot of people are watching them. But at the end of the day, most people is watching and they're going to be watching. But at the end of the day, that's just going to be a fear that's holding you back from bettering your own self. You can do it at home, but I know most people still don't do it at home and they don't go to the gym either. So that fear is just holding you back and that's something we got to get over. Another thing is time. Some people may not have the time, but it is very, very valuable for us to find at least an hour of the day to work on ourselves. If you don't have any time to work on yourself throughout the day and something is wrong, there's a problem that needs to be solved because we need at least an hour to work on ourselves every single day. Our next workout is leg press. Leg press is another good workout for a leg day, a lower body day, a leg killer, a leg definer, a leg strengthener. Leg press is a good leg day workout. It's basically where I'm going. But, yes, leg press. Do leg press about five sets of six. Do a weight that you can do that's not too comfortable, but not something that's going to snap your legs. That's something you can't do. Do something that's comfortable, but not easy. That's going to help you. Now, everything I'm saying, I'm speaking from experience on stuff that I have done, stuff that have worked for me, or stuff that I am currently working on. Now, I have been fortunate enough to help almost my whole entire my whole entire family but my stepdad to work out my friends and a lot of other people to start working out and that's something i'm really proud of i'm very proud of them to take that step in their life and try to better it and not try better it because it's gonna better your life it's gonna better your mental health like i've been saying but yeah i'm very proud of that and i hope one person just one person from this video just take some inspiration. Go to the gym. You don't even have to go to the gym. Start doing it at home. But I will say, working out at home is way harder. You got to have way more discipline than going to the gym and working out. Because once you're in the gym, you got to work out. What well, You're not just going to stand there. But if you're at home, you're going to stop. You're not going to do all the sets. You might not even get up and work out. You're going to be like, maybe tomorrow. And the last workout I want to show y'all is, I don't even have a name for this workout. I literally just did it one day and I was like, oh, this works. This works good. But it is another form of squat. Whatever name y'all want to call it or give it. But do about five sets of that. And another thing I want to talk about before we end this video is, don't be too hard on yourself when you're working out. Don't think, don't sit here and beat yourself up because you think you're not doing it right or you're not doing it good enough. Just keep on doing it. Keep on grinding. And you're going to eventually get better and better at it. So don't beat yourself up because we do that a lot also. Also, when you're in there, try to not compare yourself to people in the gym. People that's been working out 
for forever and they look like this and you think you look like that no focus on you and work on you that's the whole point in you being there now with that work to make it better and work on your booty low you get a bar a long bar and you want to be elevated like your calves what your calves do and your legs yeah. Complete toe. At the planet fitness. What up, boobs? Okay. <laughs> yeah, us. planet fitness. That's what we work out at. We're not supposed to record, but we motherfucking G's. We do what we want. They period. ain't never gonna catch us, period. Because we are no. what? Real motherfucking G's. Period. Gangsters. Show me a gangster walk. Let me see a gangster walk. <laughs> 